All right, what's up, my budget bangers? Uh, we gonna talk about bass. How to make your speakers sound louder. Um, I'm not talking about SPL on a meter. I'm talking about perceived bass on the outside of the car. Um, what you want to do is every object scientifically, you can look this up. I'm going to leave you guys some information, some links in the bottom of the description to show the facts of what I'm talking about. Every object has a frequency, resonated frequency. Some cars are 35, your car can be 40, it can be 50, it can be 25. My car is 25. Bass has a wavelength when you're dealing with hertz, like 80 hertz vibration is 10 feet as far as the vibration bass is a vibration that's how speakers actually work um not just talk about this is science stuff this is sound period so good example is um when i stand outside of my car and get you an app that has bass tones in it when i stand outside of my car with my phone and bluetooth to the car i'll go through bass tones i'll go 30 30 hertz 35 hertz when i hit 25 it sounds louder because that is the resonated frequency of my car so what happens is the car vibrates also giving off sound itself not in spl in loudness perceived meaning it starts to vibrate things around it in the wavelength it's further so when i hit as low as 25 hertz i can stand 20 feet away from my car and it's very loud but next to the car it's not that loud because it's so low so i'm gonna pull up a chart right here this is all on google this is sound stuff this stuff goes way past just speakers and all of that. You got to understand how sound works. I'm giving you guys a tip. I'm telling you, dude, when you find the frequency, resonator frequency of your car, you really going to be banging. You really going to be shaking up some stuff. If you want to sound louder, it's not going to do much on an SPL meter. But your wavelength is going to go farther. They're going to hear you coming from around the block even more. If, even if you have more power, you find the resonated frequency of your vehicle, you're killing it. Um, another way to get loud. I've noticed some people will argue, doesn't matter. Your opinion is your opinion. A lot of guys face their box towards the back of the car. Depending on the car or truck, you might, if you can let your seats down. I've seen a lot of cars, loud as hell, deep as hell, face their subwoofers towards them, let the seats down, crack your windows. What happens is the pressure builds up in another cabin, which is the car, and comes out of the car so it becomes deeper, and that makes your wavelength even longer, depending on the car or truck. Now, if you're inside of an SUV, it might not matter because it's already big. It's already a cabin. The base isn't getting trapped in your trunk. Most of you guys, your base is getting trapped in your trunk. Your porthole is too close to the wall of your trunk. So the air is just hitting it. And you're losing probably maybe 3, 4 dBs of sound. Maybe even more. But if you want your subwoofers to sound louder... One quick tip, great tip, I'm telling you it works. Get you an app on your phone, a bass tone app, a bass tester. Stand outside the car and just hit the different frequencies. Now, be careful. You need to know the FS of your subs. You really don't want to go lower than that. Let's say if your subs FS is 36 hertz. You don't want to go lower than 36 hertz because you can damage the speaker. If you do go lower, don't put it up to the max. Do not put it up to the max because your speaker is going to bottom out. Another way you want to get loud 
This is the third tip on getting loud. Downfire your subs. Have your subs facing up. If you have enough room in your truck, have your subs facing up. Because it's going to hit the back wall of your box and it's going to hit the top of your trunk. That's going to send a wavelength. When you find the right wavelength frequency of your car to face your subs down, facing up. That's called down firing. This is what a lot of people do to have subwoofers in the house. It's something Bose used to do. They still do it. It works. I'm telling you. All this stuff is not just car audio. It's audio, period. It's sound. So try it. Get your app on your phone. Test it out. Leave a comment. Let me know what it sounded like. Enjoy, man. Have fun. Because I'm having fun with this, bro. I'm having me a good time. Like, subscribe, peace, I'm out.